It's April, and there's five Saturdays in April, which means extra video. So let's ignore all the complicated projects that I'm stuck in the middle of, and instead procrastinate and have a little bit of fun by hooking up definitely not the right controllers to the joystick port of an Apple 2GS. So stay tuned. And if you enjoy mashing together technologies from days gone by in strange and sometimes uncomfortable ways, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Now, despite being terrible at video games, I love video games, but I never really got the hang of uh, this thing. You see, I grew up in a household with NES and Super Nintendo, and we didn't actually have a computer in the house until I was well into middle school. As a result, I wound up being most comfortable with controllers that look like this, and to a lesser extent, a keyboard. But a lot of the Apple II era computer games that I saw as a kid, they had one of these things in mind. Well, thanks to a wonderful bit of modern kit from Byte Boosters, it's now possible to bring your console kid home advantage to the world of Apple II, because this is a controller adapter that lets you easily plug a Sega, Super Nintendo, NES with adapter, and now even PlayStation and PlayStation 2 controller into an Apple II and use it with games that think it's a joystick. Now I know this sounds simple, but in practice and at risk of sounding hyperbolic, is life changing too strong of a term? So let's take a closer look at this Byte Boosters controller adapter, and then we'll hook it up to this fancy transparent Apple II, which uh, is quite special. If you don't recognize it, I'll go over it in a bit. And then we'll check out some games that are just awesome with this thing. Oh, and this is where I normally put a sponsor spot, but I don't have one for this video. Thank you so much for watching and sharing these videos and coming to hang out with me at events like VCF East. I'll also be at VCF Southwest and VCF Midwest this year. And check out the Action Patreon because I do bonus videos with unscripted computer hackery and shenanigans and tiers start at just a buck. So this neat little device has actually been around for a couple years. But this latest revision adds support for PlayStation controllers. Now, my friend Ron actually did a video about the previous version of this thing. And yeah, that was part of my inspiration to pick up this thing when the new version came out. I'll link to his video right here. Definitely check that out. But yeah, let's take a closer look and see what's going on with this board and then try it out. So here is the device, and it's fairly simple. The magic happens in this PIC XLP microcontroller here, and then we have four ports on it. This works for Sega and Atari, this works for PlayStation and PlayStation 2, and this works for Super Nintendo, and with a Super Nintendo to NES adapter, a Nintendo controller. And this port here is what plugs into the joystick port on your Apple II. And I've also got this included handy dandy extension here. Because, you know, you don't want this big old board just sticking out the back of your machine and snapping off on the wall or something. And this <laughs> really is plug and play. So you plug one controller in that you want to use and this will translate it into analog joystick. The only caveat being that it doesn't work with digital input. So say on a PlayStation controller here, you'd have to actually push the analog button to make sure it's sending analog to the board here. Now the machine we're gonna try this out on is our trusty stealth Apple II GS, which as you may have surmised is a somewhat modified and upgraded system. This is actually an Apple II GS motherboard in an Apple IIe transparent case from Mac Effects. But what's really helpful here is that it has a heck of a lot of upgrades inside. The Apple II GS's processor has been replaced by the Apple Squeezer upgrade, which is kind of a super upgrade for the Apple II GS. It's an accelerator with a 14 megahertz 65816 processor but it also includes 14 megs of memory and a 240 megabyte RAM disk, which uh, actually I'm not using because I don't know how. 
Maybe we'll figure that out in a bonus episode. The other thing we have in here is the CFFA 3000, which, uh, yeah, gives me all sorts of disk image access, either on CF card or USB. So my 2GS main system disk image is on this CF card, along with some games. And to supplement that, we have a floppy emu with a bunch of disk images with different sets of games, like 2GS games and Apple IIe games and stuff. So this is pretty much the perfect test bed to play Apple IIe and 2GS games because there is literally nothing that this thing can't play. All right, so we'll start things off with a Super Nintendo controller, probably the controller I spent the most time with as a kid, booting into System 604 on the 2GS. And I'm gonna select the Action Games disc image here. And this disc image, which is available on what is the Apple 2GS, which I'll link down below, has a pretty good collection of some of the best games out there for the 2GS. What in the heck is going on with the video here? Oh, geez. Okay, I think I just nudged the CPU when I was uh, showing it off. I reseeded it and good to go. So let's start with one of my favorite games. The game with probably the best soundtrack in the history of video games, Sylphide. And yeah, I think by default, Y and B are configured for the fire button, and then joystick is going to be, of course, the D-pad here. There we go. Oh, look, it's great. All right, for some reason, L2 is fire. But I think we can change that with the select button or start. Yeah, start button. There we go. Oh no, I'm not doing very well. But just listen to this music. <laughs> That's so good. Oh no, my shields. I can't, can't stop dancing. All right, I just hot swapped in the Genesis controller to see if that works. Guess I have to get out of the credits. All right, and I always prefer the Genesis controller because I have huge Hulk hands and this makes a lot more sense for me than the dainty little SNES. I forgot there was voice acting in this game. <laughs> oh, the music. Oh, this controller is so much better. I mean, for me, personal preference. Oh no, doesn't mean I'm better at the game. Can't stop dancing. All right, now here's a game I sunk a lot of time into as a kid, only on the NES. Let's play it with a Sega Genesis controller on an Apple IIGS. That oh, works, look at that. Oh, it's too, too fast. I got one. Oh my God, it's just beeps. Maybe it's easier to control with a PS2 controller. All right, I just hot swapped it. Hit the analog button. Actually, it is kind of nice. All right, I think if I hit start, yeah, look at that. I can use this stick. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. Yeah, maybe I do like joysticks. This is really hilarious though, playing on an Apple II GS with a PS2 DualShock 2 controller. <laughs> okay, now here's something hilarious. The Apple II GS version of Super Mario Brothers, which is a fan game from around 1999. Let's play that with the Genesis controller. <laughs> and I remember trying to play this on a stock 2 GS and it was hecka slow. Oh, 
Okay, uh, D-pad doesn't work. Okay, I figured out a control scheme that works. A button on the controller, four and six on the keyboard. We're good to go. My God, the music in this game <laughs> is extremely annoying. <laughs> All right, I beat the first level, half using a Sega Genesis controller and half using the keyboard. What more could you ask for? What more perfect control scheme exists? I think I may have found the worst possible way to play Super Mario. <laughs> okay, so that was just a bit of silly fun on this extra Saturday that we have here in April. Now, the creator of this nifty little device was nice enough to chat with me for a bit. And uh, yeah, it turns out this is a labor of love and he hand assembles each and every one of these. And given that, I guess it makes sense that they're a little bit pricey. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below in case you want to check it out yourself. But I've had a ton of fun playing Apple II games here, especially with the Sega Genesis controller, which might just be the most perfect video game controller ever made. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more shenanigans like this, please subscribe down below. And I really hope to see you at the upcoming VCF Southwest and VCF Midwest. Thank you very much for watching. And a special thanks to Alex Hoffman, Camila Noseda, Chris Allegretta, Chris Biggs, Chris Calderon, Chris Nelson, Control Alt Reese, Daniel Hubbard, Frodo Jedi, Gaspar Heller, Greg Hrutke, Harris Brody, Jason Papaz, Justin Hemmings, Justin Reed, Lyle Truid, Michael Mulhern, Paul Spencer, Ryan, Scott Thompson, Sutek, Tom Woodfin, and Unknown Soldier 41, who are my highest tiered patrons and all of my Patreon supporters for helping to make these videos possible.